Hi everyone. So we're going to do a craft that goes along with the story you heard about Parable of the Mustard Seed. So first thing I did is I went ahead and I top tied my cord to the top of my mason jar. Back has the writing, front has no writing. Um, you do not need to do this part. Um, if you don't want to hang it up, you don't need to put a cord on it. Um, I just went ahead and tied the two ends together and made a little knot. So what we want to do is we want to take the backing off the front of this. You'll have to rip it a tiny bit at the cord to get it off the cord, which is very easy to do. There you go. There's your jar. Then you take this, the non-sticky side and put that down on the desk in front of you or table, wherever you're working. And then you need to take, the first thing you do is you take the mustard seeds. Now the mustard seeds are these little tiny yellow beads. We've got a whole bag of them. We're gonna give you just a couple to put in the bottom area of your jar. So you want to put them down, not all the way at the bottom, because you're going to have a silver outline to the jar, like that, but what kind of right up here, but towards the bottom. All right, so Trent is going to take our mustard seeds. There you go. You want to grab them little guys, and he's going to put them down in the bottom of the jar there. You got one, put them down, two. Three, four, five. All right, so there's our mustard seeds. They stick right to the back, no big deal. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna take the plastic sheet and you wanna put it on top of the mustard seeds and kind of center it on the jar so that there's a little bit of sticky sticking out all around it. So that's how I'm doing it, just like that. So you see our little mustard seeds and it says, have faith. Okay, the next thing you want to do after that is you want to take and punch out, which I've already done, the center of this big glitter sheet. We just actually need this part. So you have a large stick glitter sheet if you want to use that for another project or you can just chuck it in the trash. Um, I'd save it. That's actually a pretty good, pretty good piece of uh, glitter and it's got some nice stickiness on it so you don't need to mess with glue with it. So we need to go ahead and take the backing off the edging of our jar. So this glitter piece has white stickiness, white paper covering up the stickiness all along the back. So I am gonna go ahead and peel off and then Trent, my man here, is going to stick this onto the jar. Now we wanna kinda of line this up so it lines up with the outer edge, outer edge of the jar. You want these to lay as best as you can, line up, line them up so they, uh, they cover each other up. There you go. You want to go nice and slow start at one end stick it um you do not need you need to leave it a little bit down from the top if you if you if you want to leave it down a little bit okay we're getting all jacked up here if you want to leave it a little bit down from the top there is a cap of the jar so you can leave it down if you need extra space you can do that i'm going to go ahead and help trent with this because this is pretty hard to get on here, actually. You may want to ask a parent for help. Boop. Oh my goodness, this hard. All right, there we go. We got it on our jar. Jar, it says, have faith. Actually, I'm gonna peel it off one more time. See if I can get it on a little straighter. There we go. On my jar, very nice around the edge. The next piece you want to do is you want to take the Matthew section, which is the blue top to the jar, take the sticky off that, and you want to stick that along the tippy top at the top of the jar so it looks like the jar has a nice cap. There you go, just like that. And then the last piece you want to take and do is if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, nothing will be impossible for you. So there's a little banner that you can take the stickiness off, and Trent is going to go ahead and stick that on his. Um, you can put that right across the center of the jar in between have and faith so you can still read all the words. It's seed. That's okay. Ours is covering up a mustard seed. We may lose some mustard seeds along the way here, but as long as you have a couple in there, you're good. All right, there you go. So we have our little mustard seeds in a jar craft. Very cute. Hope you guys enjoyed it.